Hello, in this tutorial on C++, I want to show you the destructors. Destructors is the opposite of constructors. It is called whenever the object is destroyed. Alright. Uh, you mostly need to override the default destructor, although there is a default constructor, a default destructor, although these are not do too much. Uh, so you have to just override the default destructor. If you allocate memory for example with new and you want to delete uh, that memory. So usually if you don't do this you don't have to make a destructor. Although because I didn't uh, didn't tell us speak you about uh, dynamic memory allocation I think I will put after the basic class uh, overview so we don't we didn't uh, allocate memory with new not even malloc alright uh, the destructor is start with a tilde like that and the name of the class. Similarly to constructors, it it doesn't have return uh, type. Uh, and it shouldn't get any parameter. Alright, we just write out that destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's compile our program and run our program and as you can see first it's constructed then used the writeout function to write something out and then it is destroyed so the destructor is called the uh, so the destructor is the last function which is called alright and actually that is that is the destructor if you uh, allocate some memory with alloc or malloc or, or malloc or new you should use delete something for example uh, array c which is uh, represented by the pointer c or use the free to free that memory address or something as so because this tutorial was a little uh, short I want to introduce you to the const although I forget it to delete this oh alright so the const member function for example that writeout is it should be const because it doesn't change the name and the ID so none of them it changed none of them so to make a const member function you have to put the const keyword after the parenthesis so after the parameter list uh, not only just the declaration but the definition itself like that okay it will not change the value so yeah it should be a const it's easier to the human reader and sometimes the compiler too as I told you in the const tutorial alright this will give the exact same result as you can see nothing change okay then and uh, actually that's it for that tutorial and for today because I'm a little tired. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.